All right, so now what we want to do is that whenever we move a player, we want the player to move as well on the other clients. So in order to do so, we need to add what's called a network transform. So bear with me. Let's go to the Iron Man prefab. So click on it and all the way down, right below the network identity, let's add a new component. So click on add component and locate the network transform. So let me type it. There it is. And click there. Now, the network transform, what is this all about? As you can see, there's a bunch of settings. And the network send rate is how many times this is going to tell where the, the, where the uh, character is on the screen. So you wanna, uh, if you want more precision, put this to the max. So the more, the more you send it, the more, the more um, precise it's going to be, but the more processing power it's going to take. So, you know, sometimes I like to go around 20 and that will do. Then the transform sync mode. Um, since this one has a rigid body, I will do the rigid body 3D. If you don't have any rigid body, just send the transform. Okay. All right. And um, I'm not doing a character controller because this does not have a character controller. Okay. Now uh, that sends the actual location, but there's something else we want to send too. We want to send the actual animations. We want to tell when it's uh, walking or when it's uh, hitting or dying, right? So let's add the component to send the animations. Click on add component and locate network. And now look for animator right here, network animator. Now, what you want to do is select the animator here, but there is a bug right now in the Unity version is that if you click here, somehow, you cannot find the animator. It says, it says asset known, so that's a bug. But there's a quick workaround, and please follow me. I'm taking the Iron Man prefab, and I'm dropping the prefab inside of my hierarchy. And now, what I could do is just go inside, right here, under the network animator, and look, I'm gonna click on, on the animator, and I can now select it, all right? And as you can see, it says the Iron Man prefab for the animator. All right, and don't forget to click on apply on the prefab. If you don't click on apply, then this would not apply. Okay, once you're done, now you can select the Iron Man prefab that we dropped and remove it because we don't need it anymore. All right, now save this and start two clients so that you can see the changes. Now we have two games running at the same time, one in the top left corner and one in the bottom right corner. And if I move the one on the top left corner, the yellow character, which is the red character in the bottom right game, as you can see, the coordinates and also the animation gets passed on. All right, so I'm gonna shoot two, and as you can see, it's shooting, isn't that beautiful, right? Now let's do the same with the white character, which is the purple as well. I'm going to move to the other game, and as you can see, I'm moving it, and it gets also moved in the other place, and I can shoot as well. Perfect, and it's shooting blue fireballs. Now, as you can see at the end, it died because we still have some work to do about the animations and some logic. But again, now we can move, we can move around and we can also play all the animations. So we're definitely on the right track. Let's keep on moving.